as it's Zoe. That yes. way I can't like, I like yeah. metagame. I try to any... do that too. Of course, when I'm DM, I have to have everything. Yeah, everything. and I, I, I feel as if I take notes as Uzul. <laughs> yeah, you take very detailed notes for the most part. Like there are definitely. Uh... That's good. I haven't read Mad. I haven't ran Mad King with a whole lot of note takers. A ton of ton of people can go through, and it's just like blank face. It's like, oh yeah, this NPC comes back, and they're like, I have no memory of this. It's like dm for toddlers yeah and that's and that's what gets me is like when you like when you bring something like that up and like i don't have notes on that person and i'm like who is this person <laughs> like i know i know but like i'm Must flipping through me. <laughs> i'm flipping through and i'm like i don't know them <laughs> yeah and it's one thing where it's like you know it wouldn't have been interesting to their character but it'll be i've had campaigns where it's like they sit there and you know they meet jimmy or whatever and one person in the party, they're playing a rogue, you know, and so they're like, oh, me, you know, them and Jimmy just start getting on, getting along. They go out on like little heists together and shit. They go rob cocaine caravans or whatever. And then the campaign proceeds in certain directions that maybe it's proceeding now, maybe it's not. And Jimmy winds up going other places or doing other things or getting sent out on some mission. And then they don't talk about him for months you know months in real time pass by and then he comes back and he's like hey guys and the player's just like who and it's like really you guys were like like it's one thing if you know your character never interacted with him and so you're doing it in character but it's like that was your best friend that was your best friend man like <laughs> i'd been planning i'd been planning that back reveal for a cup for a while now <laughs> i thought you'd be excited oh, i'd be happy to see him are beautiful so like blood fist yeah I have blood fist, dash, secret powers, question mark. <laughs> um, Fair. Adara's notes, young girl, blind, visions. Like, <laughs> Ken, special guy. Ken, special guy. Who the fuck is Ken? <laughs> He's important. He's been mentioned a couple of times. He's you guys Anna's met brother. Him. Who we oh, killed, okay. Yeah. Okay. Who is an important member of the House of Dragons? Who his lives? His sister. Oh, his sister. Who died? Mark's wife. Yeah, that's isn't that what I said? You said his brother. I thought. Oh uh, well, yeah. Anna is. He yes, is Anna's brother. Anna's brother. Yes, but he's an important member of the House of the Dragons. Yeah, a royal house from Silvershire. Silvershire. And but he works in iron. We will need him eventually. Also, I'm sure he's wondering what happened to his sister and nephew. <laughs> if he knows he had a nephew. Fair. fair. Remember, Mark and her fled from Silvershire a long time ago. Well, we bring him sad tidings, but he will be grateful to receive the message. And now we have made a friend who is a powerful ally. Hey, man, Possibly. so uh, your sister and your nephew don't know if you had a nephew, but they both died. You want to help us overthrow the king? Yo, <laughs> I held your nephew's legs in his last moments. <laughs> I accidentally helped rip off your your nephew's legs. I was trying to save him. I pulled a little too hard, you know. <laughs> want to help hard. us out, my the guy? Hard. <laughs> but we're friends. Nat 20, that strength check, you know how it be. <laughs> I've been bathed in your family's blood. <laughs> want to help us out? <laughs> exactly. That's a great plan. Speaking of family lines, there was that reveal last session you guys thought you were going to talk about. And you, you know, how you about you don't? How, from that yeah, piece. sure did. How about you don't? How about you? How about you don't bring it back up? <laughs> I'm leaving that for the whole party to gather. That's that's perfectly fine. My I whole I, my whole one. idea is because I was like, okay, we ended session, and I literally talked about it. I was like, how much you want to bet everybody's going to forget about that little like last five minutes of stream and then it's just gonna get glossed over and now you just brought it back up so now she's gonna remember and then she's gonna bring it up <laughs> i might bring it up i'm it's zelly's not gonna ask you about it because she totally gets not talking about coming from like a royal family the bell is rung yeah. welcome back to D, D house everybody <laughs> it's the first lift you guys are looking for even more loot sure are how's the beach looking is it all sandy still it is all sandy still Dope. it is like it was yesterday dope so yeah uh same plan it seems to be cut back further though like back like more inland, yeah, inland. or okay okay um I'm, yeah same plan as last time okay caroline's there and she's like so what am i doing all right, all right. So I'm just searching for shells and shit. 
pretty much. If you find anything that's uh, interesting, uh -huh. let us know. Uh, we brought you along because with all this sand, we thought maybe you could use your little vibration powers, shake up the sand, and... Uh, Do you think my vibration powers are little? Well, well, it's... I've, I've, seen, I've seen you use them on your hands. It's so all I don't I've know. got. I, you, this is the He's chance. He's not insulting you. Everyone is... Look at, look at him. Everyone is little. She's little. Okay. Everyone around here is little. I'm damn near eight feet tall. <laughs> you can do this, kid. Yeah, all right. Let's, let's go. I want to see what you got. Vibrate hard. All right. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll bring... Um, uh, yeah, we'll head towards the... Honestly, I was thinking about, again, just going up to the north side and working our way down yeah, to like the south. Yeah, like start like just past where we ended last time. Yeah. And then, uh, if anything, while I'm, while she's down searching in the rocks, mm -hmm. uh, I'll be just like up on that shelf with uh, Caroline, and she could be vibrating sure. that inside water with Nvidia pushing the water back. So you are climbing deep down, and you're going to try to delve into that water again, into the still water. So do you just have Nvidia kind of hold in open? Do you, what do you say to Nvidia about this? Because she can't see where you are, so following you isn't necessarily going to be an option. But if you say, like, hey, I'm starting here, make an exit so far down the beach, she could do that reasonably. Or you could just have her hold there for the whole hour, and you could scour as far as you feel like you can, and then just come so back. So what I'm thinking is we, um, we do, like, the same thing that we did before. And you just spend like like seven minutes like going in and then like your other seven minutes coming out and then we'll like shift spots and like just do the same thing that we did before because I don't want to just stick in one spot because like there's the chance that we just pick that spot clean and then we're just hanging out there. I think we should do like at least two rounds per spot though. Okay. Does that work? Yeah, I can vibe with that. Okay. So you're going to go deep, deep. Pretty deep and come back. Yeah. 15 yeah. minutes in, 15 minutes out. Yep. Okay, and you and me and Caroline, Caroline are searching, searching the, the beach as, however fast you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she steps out onto the beach. People are sitting there trying to sift things around. She kind of scoffs at them a little bit. And again, we'll go. We'll go like up to that. We'll start. At yeah, that you're, area you're a little far away. Most people don't seem to go to the northern end. Seems that people don't find it very lucky. We have but you guys have done profitable. just fine. <laughs> she puts her hands onto the sand, and you just see these little ripples start going out about 60 feet around her. She nice. ripples. Nice. And you just see the bigger chunks of sand, little bits of rock and stuff start making their way to the surface. Uh, roll perception. All right. So if, can we have her searching like the bank and me be like in that little like shelf area where the water is? Like I'll be standing in the water. Potentially. The problem is, right, is she has to stay still to vibrate the thing. Yeah, you kind of need to pick up whatever's And so her. you probably have to run around and be the grabber. Otherwise, if things are surfacing, and immediately when she starts that, people are noticing. Okay, okay, yeah. You know? I'll be, I'll be there. Things are surfacing. People don't have, aren't going to have any problem with like snatching something up and running away from you. So I am going to... Uh... Fuck it. I'm going to pop uh, my... I'll pop my conquering presence and just like <laughs> just make everybody <laughs> piss themselves. Like they are they are not coming near me in this. How child. long can you maintain that? Um, that's a good question. Um, so I thought it takes your lay on hands to start, right? Yeah. I thought it was a pop for the round. Dun, 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 dun. Let's find out. Come on. Um, da, 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 da. We got good things. We got good things coming. That was a surprise, Ian face. Ooh. Oh yeah, no, that uh, it only it only keeps him frightened of me for one minute. Um, yeah. So so if it gets bad, you can pop that. Yeah, but I'll roll just a normal intimidate check before that. Yeah. Just to like glare yeah. at people because I'm a very large. Just orc. be like, hey, you know that we're the ones doing this. You stay off of our fucking turf. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, da, 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 da. um oh no it doesn't even matter you add like 30. Uh, i had 21. will be a total of 29. 
29 is good. Yeah. Um, at least for this first lift, people most certainly are going to stay away from you. Yeah, yeah they, they give you your space. Um, and I'll be like, I'll just be like searching and digging for stuff. And if anything pops up, I'll just run over and There's grab it. There's no need to dig. You need to stand near her and just gather, scan around this area. Okay, bet. Yeah. Yeah. So perception. Anything that's anything that's going to be worthwhile is going to make its way to the surface of this sand. All right, dope. So do you want me to or fall into the rock cracks below? But All right, but there then too. she's there too. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, just a perception. All right. And what was your perception? over um 19 19 okay that's not terrible <laughs> um 31 Close. for my perception 31 something makes its way to the surface dope uh have you roll first since you find multiple things uh just 100 yep d100 nine yep there is another little bit of one of them crystal bits and them crystal guys. Duh. This one kind of looks like a scorpion stinger, but it's like this big. All right. All right. And uh, I want to ask Adara again if uh, she knows where I can find one of these green corals here. It zellies on the path. I'm just gonna like shout down the rocks. You you're, got you're it! You're nothing. <laughs> you're in the water. You've got these gills you don't even realize. You can see in the dark. Life is strange, but you're going for it. Uh, 1d100 roll. 78. 78. One piece of pink fire coral. Pink fire coral. And you were warned about the fire coral. Do you use a cloth to pick that up? Yeah, yeah. I'm done okay. touching strange things. <laughs> it's for the best. I was scolded heavily on the break, just so everyone's aware of what and, happened. Um, what kind of things are you specifically looking for? Well, I'm obviously looking for his greenhorn coral, because that's why we're still here, is he wants another one. Mm -hmm. He wants to grow his dog and his child. Yes. Um... Other than that, like, Zelly's fond of shiny things. I will give you a choice, because you nat 20 circumstance here. Ooh. You can roll a d100 for double of a random item, Okay. or you may choose something you've known before, or you can kind of lead, and I'll, uh, I'll pick the best out of here. If I can choose the green horn coral, you I will You find a do piece that. of green horn coral. Excellent. Yes! So you said that it, it, it'll grow them, but once they reach like maturity, it'll like, it'll stop. I never said any of that. No, he just said it ages them. Yeah, no, but I, but I asked the dude and uh, specifically like, is it just continuously age them? He does say that it is not continuous. Okay, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there is, but there is an end point. Okay. Um, oh shit! That's what I was gonna ask the uh, the dude if he knew the like exact endpoint of it. But anyways, that's fine. Cause like my thought was uh, I wanted to get one for Adara because she has, has, still has like a lot of growing to do. Mm -hmm. But as far as Caroline and Amelia go, they're already like fifteen, sixteen. So like, if it only yeah. if, it ages, if it adds if it adds ten years, yeah, that might be a little bit of an issue. Exactly. Or like or if it, if adds it twenty years, then it's just like oh geez. Exactly. Or hell, if it only like ages them to like eighteen. Yeah. Then, uh, then super worth your time. Th exactly. Right. Um, so yeah. Okay. Dope. Second lift. You're going deeper. Yes. And, and you uh, have gone this entire sixty foot radius. It's vibrated out. There's yeah. tons of little tiny rocks and little bits of like worn out chiplets of corals and shit that are just worth nothing. So you're gonna have to move to a whole new area. Now you're gonna reach a bit of a problem here because other people. There's tons of other people on this beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't want to move from their spot. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll move, uh, instead of heading down south, we'll just move uh, north. You're going to, like, curve around to where the whirlpool isn't swirling by? Um, no, so we... Uh... You could probably make one more lip at the, at the northern point. 
Yeah, because where because where we are now, because we started on that like northern point point where I found the uh, the the dog rock, yeah. and then we moved. Uh, we like searched there, and then we moved like twenty thirty feet down. You have to move. Search there. So so right. If you move twenty thirty feet down, you're doubling up your search area a lot at this point because she does a sixty foot radius. Yeah 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 yeah. And we. So you need to move one hundred and twenty feet down to get a new, to get a totally new patch of land for her to vibrate. Okay, then, 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 then yeah, we'll, in, instead of like moving down to where the other people are, we'll move uh, to that northern end, like right, okay, you right around, one more. yeah, right around where the, the dog rock was. Sure. Because at this point, we're about like, I don't know how far from that point. You're maybe but... only 30, 40 foot from other people at this point okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, outside we'll, of her ring okay yeah we'll, we'll so, yeah, move we'll one more of this there. and then you might be making some people move yeah I'm, I'm a scary man all right uh let me roll some circumstances for you and her bonus and it's ellie going even deeper and You regrettably do not find anything. Oh, even with a 33 perception? You find all of nothing. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. If there was anything, you would see it. Yeah. Good perception roll. You can spend prestige on it. What, what? I don't need to! What is it? The net fucking 20! Jesus For fucking For a 37 Christ. total! Jesus! I see the things! <laughs> We'll start with the regular rolls for circumstance that you've gotten, as well as your bonus net 21. Uh, D100 three times. Two. 63. All right, 63. We are making out like fucking you bandits. <laughs> oh. I was hoping you would get this. It is a piece of branch coral, and it's got kind of like this oily sheen rainbow to it. Yeah, the rainbow makes you gay because most of us already are <laughs> actually you guys think... haven't asked any of your npc friends oh well you I know frida's not at least speaking in real life She's... not oh. necess... i mean at the table right now no but generally <laughs> yes. generally D, D house a lot of a lot of the gays yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. Put me in a weird box here, man. Put me in a weird position. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Talk about that. We are a gay friendly house. <laughs> We're just a friendly house. <laughs> We're just a friendly house. <laughs> I'm sorry. I worked a lot today. What's I'll the second D100 roll? I'm going. 75. Fucking hell. <laughs> Orange fire coral. Orange fire coral. <laughs> Come on, high numbers. High numbers. 23 is not a high number. 23 is not a high number, but it is still something. Um, oh, white horn coral. White horn coral. Okay, three rolls. And now, we have a bit of negotiation. Oh, shit. We have a nat 20 on circumstance and a nat 20 on perception. Okay. We can whittle this out as higher odds and an extra roll for things. We can whittle this out as multiple of whatever you roll randomly. We can whittle this out as you choose in your next thing. Or you could find something new. However, the dudes on the island said if we do find anything new, they will confiscate it. They do search it pretty thoroughly. Okay, okay. Like, still make your choice, but know that, like, if you find something new, they will compensate it. They said that they will compensate for anything that they confiscate, but... but who's, to, who's to say what compensation is? It might just be your money back for admission. Exactly. Yeah. But find something new could mean a couple things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's let's go with finding new things. I would prefer not a coral unless the coral is really dope. The the coral is like ninety nine percent of what you guys are gonna find. It takes up 
all but what? Two, four, five, eight. It takes up all but 13 okay. on the D100 roll. Okay, so here's um, my stipulation. I would like to find something new. Please don't give it Zelly another symbiote because she will touch it. Yes. Okay. No, no, I mean totally new. Totally new, okay. Yep, let's that, do that's, this. that's what I'm saying. As you are crawling deep into this, you find a tunnel. Tunnel. Secret With tunnel. With warm water flowing towards you, flowing out towards the surface. Interesting. I swim in that shit. Yeah, and it just goes. Dope. Um, are you going to continue down multiple lifts of that? How much time do you spend? I mean, we've already established that you're looking for something new, and there's... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I would think it was safe to assume that if I don't come up, NVIDIA is not going to just... And her spell, yeah. And Sol, yeah, because she's she's essentially just like, like me and Coraline are searching like the surface, surface. So like, okay, she would stay as like a fucking I don't know, crab on a rock or something, and doing this shit yeah, for you. Yeah, I'll keep going. I go deep. Interesting. You continue forth. Onward. Next lift, Uzel. Uh, it's Ellie's kind of or uh, Invis. <clears throat> it's Ellie didn't uh, come hasn't come back yet. So, she can kind of turn into a weird fish thing, so I'm not really worried, but you definitely stay here, and she'll stay. We'll hope she comes back within the hour. What do you and Caroline do? Um, I'm going to try to just move down the... Uh, uh, Are you going to try to muscle people out of your section? Yeah. Needs some good intimidation to try to clear a 60-foot radius in yeah. this relatively dense crowd. I will uh, definitely do that, and I will... Oh, fucking bet. So I have uh, I have my channel Fear, yes. which is different than my Conquering Presence, because yes. this will be like an aura 30 feet, takes two of my charges. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll pop that, and um, yeah, so it's going to be DC 17. <laughs> Nine for on the uh, these peasants, yeah, uh, and... just about everybody immediately clears out. Dope. At that. And I'll there's roll, a couple uh... people that you know a little tougher, tougher at the grit. And I'll roll an intimidation check on top of that. Yeah, for those people that decided to stick around. No, god damn it! Um... It's still gonna be almost a thirty. Uh, no, it's only twenty six this time. Only twenty six. <laughs> Uh, you get all but one cleared out. You are left with a single elderly halfling man. He has long curly hair and a little sieve, and he's just talking. He doesn't seem to have ever taken notice of you. Okay. He's seen some shit, bro. That's, uh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. we, need to, we need to meet this man. And as everybody kind of clears, he like takes a second and kind of looks around, and he like looks at you and he goes, goes over to a new spot and starts sieving. And he goes, good luck. I like you. And I'll, uh... I have no strong opinions of you either way. Perfectly fine. And you let Caroline do her stuff? Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll ask him nicely if he would mind, like, shifting a little bit over that way. But I can breathe around here. Are you... You're going to, like, explode the beach or something? They don't let you use explosives. I tried. I really like you. Uh, no, we, uh, kind of doing a, I don't know, kind of doing our own thing over here. Would you, would you mind just shifting down that way? Well, I was, I was here first, you, doing you, my own thing. You, you indeed were. However, I don't want to risk sinking you into the sand. Hmm. Fine, but, and he just kind of, like, draws this little line with his feet in this maybe like 10 foot circle that's my spot and he walks out and just kind of like watches that you know what that's fair all right caroline let's do your stuff circumstance rolls <laughs> yeah she hits the ground and immediately and like the crowd around is like whoa 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 hey <laughs> come on man that's not fair Hall's fair in love and searching. 
highs or lows? Highs. Incorrect. Damn it. Yeah, uh, hits. I need a D100 roll. Fifty. A piece of red branch coral emerges inside the halfling's circle. Okay. And he gets real bright-eyed, and as the ground's still vibrating, he rushes out and he snatches it, and he kind of looks at you and he goes, you can buy it at my store. And he just, like, taps it into his jacket. Let's meet up afterwards. I'm willing to make a trade. Hmm. Wheelin' and dealin's my wheelin' and dealin'. Okay. But, we make a deal now. There's still more searching to be done. I get a five-foot circle in whatever it is you're doing. You get the five-foot circle and I get that red branch? No, there's only 30 minutes left. I get the five-foot circle for the convenience of you being able to visit my shop just outside the gate instead of having to travel all the way back to Ledshire. I do that, but I get a deal. There will be a discount. I can live with that. Best of luck. Yeah, he goes with you. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> you continue deeper. So this is... You can do a perception. There might be some stuff here. Yeah, dope. I do a perception, and it is pretty decent. Uh, 34. There is a crystal tentacle, like an octopus tentacle. Crystal tentacle. Clung to the side of one of these walls. And as you go to retrieve it, you touch it, and it slinks <laughs> into the crevice and disappears. Nope, I'm going to keep on moving. I'm not fucking with that thing. Okay, you're not going to fuck with it. Good call. Yeah, very wise, very wise. <laughs> Honestly, it'd be more wise if you just said fuck it and left. But you know what? I like your energy. <laughs> Continue forth. Uh, you hit one more spot. Can I continue forth? And you make totally... it back on time to get out before the hour's up. How much time has passed? Well, we're on round three. So I have one round. Does it Zelly know that? You've just been hanging underwater. A 15 on a wisdom check. I don't think she... Well, okay, so... What would happen if, like... I mean, because if anything, I could just... Like, like my friend was lost to the surf, and then they'd just be like, damn, but then you would just, like, pop back up, and then you'd be like, that shit was wild. And then, I mean, they'd probably just still let you leave. As long yeah. as you like leave right afterwards, and you're if not you, found. You know, if you're if you're found after hours, there's at least a risk that they would confiscate what you found because you were in it for illegal time. Yeah, fuck. I'll keep going. There's the chance of something new. Cool. You continue forth. Excellent. Last lift. You guys hit the area. Some circumstances are rolled. I'll tell the old man to draw a circle. Yep, he does. Wow. That was some good fucking luck right there. <laughs> uh, however, each one of these needs to be rolled. He's got his smaller circle now. Highs or lows? Highs. Yes. Yes. No. No. Fuck! There's a 50-50 split. <laughs> God damn it! Five foot circle. Gave him 10% chance, a nat 1 and a nat 2. <laughs> Fuck! Anything I, yeah, I don't know why yours? you would let him... Dude, this guy that. is... <laughs> this guy made the deal. Parent fucking Lee. All right, uh, first D100 roll. But honestly, he has a shop, so like I could easily just go and buy all the shit that he just found. <laughs> uh, if you even want it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 83. Orange soft coral? which is yours. All right, next roll. 89. Ooh. A lobster. You found one of the, the delicious lobsters. I did. It is big. You're a huge dude. This is like the size of your forearm kind of lobster. <laughs> 
and it's in all these beautiful tropical colors. Fresh. Dope. One more roll. Two more rolls. See what uh, what our halfling has gotten. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Oh, that's not the okay. <laughs> Piece of pink horn coral. Fifty. And fifty even gives him a red branch coral again. Right? There's two yeah. red. Yeah. So he's got two red branch corals and one piece of pink horn, and he's just like, ah ha! And he stuffs them away. Thanks, sucker. This was great. You keep going. It is not stopping. I keep going. We'll get back to that then. Okay. Yeah, it ends. The buzzer ends. Uh, you guys are. It's Ellie's not here, but. You are forced out. Uh, as as we're leaving, I'll just like whisper to Nvidia, just just hang out here. Oh yeah, Nvidia turns into a crab and just buries herself in the sand. Dope. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll mosey on out and uh, head to homeboy shop. Do you get your stuff identified? Uh yeah yeah yeah. So I got in this run the uh, I got a scorpion stinger. Yep, that's one of those crystal gems. Yep, and then I got uh, green horn, or no, uh, then I got uh, orange soft coral. Soft corals. Orange? Yep. Enhances natural perceptions. And remember the soft corals, one type, one person, one year. All right, and the lo lobster is just... A delicious lobster. It is known as the best lobster. And best it lobster. does give you enhancement bonuses the day you eat it. But like only for that day? Only for that day. What kind of enhancement bonuses? A d6 on all d20 rolls. Bruh. Um. Alrighty. And you go home. Oh, no, I'm going to go. Oh, no, you go to, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to go to the dude's shop, and yeah, I'm going to wait around the docks until my friend is, shows back up. He is hanging up. out out front. And he's just chilling. Frazzled, curly hair, older halfling dude. And he goes, ah, yes. So what are you looking for? Scrubs McGrimrick has everything. Hmm. Well, first and foremost, do you know what those uh, red corals that you got do? Oh, yes. The red branches. Do, 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 do. They grant extra powers. Uh, you consume them, and it lets you fly. Oh. That's, that's neat. Um, and what do the per pink horn corals do? You got, you got one of those, right? Not a pink. Oh, maybe I did get a pink horn. It's a powerful healing ingredient. Okay. Yes, okay. I did get um, that one. Well, in fact, used correctly, it can bring the dead back to life, some say. Oh, that's actually but that requires a couple extra mixed mixed additives. That's fair. Some stuff that you can't even find here. Um, Take some moonflower. Well, if you know those. What else do you got? Moonflowers. <laughs> <laughs> um, other than moonflowers, you said you got everything. What? Scribs McGrimrick has everything, and he opens up his jacket, and you see inside this little coat that he has is this just black circle. And he holds the horn coral to you, and he just pucks it in, and it disappears into his jacket. Hmm. He has portable holes built into his clothes. Pretty nifty. Um, if there's something you're after, I've got it, and I did agree on a discount. Hmm. Sorry. Got any of those uh, green horn corals? Well, I've been around here for a little while, and just a little bit of everything seems to include, and he reaches in and he fiddles around. He pulls out a big chunk. Like twice the size of what you've got. Oh. How much for that? Oh, well, a wonderful piece like this goes for right around 8,000 gold pieces. 
That's with the discount, my guy? Oh, we throw the discount on. I'd be willing to bring it down to seven. Hmm. These corals are very rare. Yeah. Rather expensive. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Uh... Reading some of the other corals. That's a, a, exactly. I'm trying to look and see if I could uh, trade them some of these. Um, if I gave you a uh, black fan coral and orange soft coral. What are we looking at? There's about a 30 gold piece difference with your discount. Hmm. What about if I gave you this lobster? I do like those lobsters. Sure do. Is that thrown in on top of the two corals? Sure. What are we what? looking like? That lobster is definitely worth more than 30 gold. Hold on, hold on. Just just give me a sec. You were fair with me. I'm going to I'm going to keep it real with you. I'll uh We could throw in a little something. I I I would be taking advantage of you at a deal like that. Hmm. So give if you the got two in the 30 gold, bro. Wait. So hold on, no, because he said that if I just gave him the coral, then it would only be uh, like thirty off of what? Is he said if I gave him these two corals, I could no, give no. him thirty thirty gold pieces to make it even? He wants you to pay him thirty gold yes. pieces. With oh, the two gold. okay, no, yeah, my your, your two pieces of coral are worth a whole lot more than thirty gold pieces. Okay, yeah, that that that's what I was thinking. I was like, no, he's, Jesus, he's okay, being very fair. With you. Okay, 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 yeah, I thought he was saying that like I give him these two corals and then I only get like I would. It would only take 30 gold off of, like, the 7 grand that he wanted. And I was like, no, no. Jesus. Um, then, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give him, the, uh, I'll give him the, the orange coral and that black fan coral. Yeah. And I'll give him 30 gold. He makes that exchange. All right. But about that lobster, though. What do you got that's worth this lobster? I got a piece of black fan coral and a piece of orange soft coral. Thought you had everything. Scribs McGrimrick has everything. Scribs McGrimrick's everything has everything. But I don't know what everything you want. So unless you're going to tell me what everything you want, I'm going to tell you the everything that I have. Tell me the everything that you have. Everything. Is there, like, a stat you want boosted or anything like that? Um, on occasion. Wait, uh, there was... Do you want better decks or... I have strength, or do you want, like... Um, okay, um, all right. Clock, do you want to be you... able to climb well? Like, What do you... Will you relax, Miss Starfish? <laughs> As you're just slithering down this <laughs> tube. What, uh... What do you got that could increase either my, uh, constitution, strength, or dexterity? Oh, all manner of belts, headbands, rings, wraiths. Uh, there's a there's a book that I've got that uh, upon reading, upon completion of that, will complete it. Uh, I've got some corals that'll do it, but make sure that you only choose one within a year. Otherwise, uh, if you mix them, they'll kill you. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. How much would those uh, boost me by? What interest do you have in that green coral? Well, for the lobster, um, I could trade you maybe a minor belt. The books are way out of the realm of what the lobster's worth, despite how much I enjoy them. Um, the corals give you an easy, an easy, normal-sized piece. Would be pretty worth the exchange. You did me a solid, so I'd be willing to do one of the belts or headbands. But so. Uh... Numbers wise, DM, what? Uh, what Belts will give at? you a plus two, but it'll take up either that belt or headband slot. These corals are a permanent buff, but it's just plus one per normal size chunk. With, of course, the stipulation of only one per one it type per year. Belt buddies, dude, get a belt. See, that's it's only a plus two though. Now, and that's kay. to scores. Yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. So only give me a. Plus, a plus one to the plus modifier. one. So, all right. 
I heard of a book that can train me in mounted combat. Do you happen to have one of those? Oh, well, you're looking for books of feats? I've got all manner. Um, they're outside of the realm of what the lobster's worth, just like the tomes that would make you stronger. Now, those ones are way out of the realm. You're getting closer to the ballpark, but you're still not close. All right. How far off am I? We're about 10,000 gold pieces off. Okay, okay, okay. I gave you a uh, white fire coral. That'd put us about 4,000 off. Okay. What are you using the uh, green coral for? If you don't mind me nosing. Oh, well, I was told that it can uh, increase aging. Or yes, that is, age. of course, uh, what it does, but who are you aging and why would you do that? Well, I have a, uh, I have a dog that needs, uh, needs to grow up quick. Huh, that's expensive dog. Very, yeah, spend about a thousand gold pieces on that. Huh, spend a whole lot more now with that coral. Yeah, it's going to be a good boy. Good boy. Right. So, huh. Um, let's see. What else What else do I got for this guy? Because... That kid there you got's got a funny power. She, uh, some kind of wizard? Hmm, sport. Oh. One of my apprentices. Do you have a sport? You know, I don't really know. You know, there's corals that only affect sport talents. Oh? Yeah, there's, uh, there's this... Let's see how much I've got of what. Oh, well, all right. He's got everything. <laughs> he does. He, he said. There's, uh, here in the soft corals, there's this rainbow-colored one here, and he pulls out this beautiful, shining... Hold on, I gotta check what that was on stream. Gotta get to that other deal. Uh, whoop, whoop. Metsy boy. Thanks for following. Why, thank you. Now back to my chart. <laughs> this rainbow soft coral can straight up shuffle sport talents. Or even full magical classes. You take it as a wizard, you wake up a druid. Fun. This no. pink one of the soft corals, it, it's a little bit of a 50-50 shot, but it can either permanently power up a sport talent or reduce a sport talent in power. Mm, I don't like those chances. Well, some people with bad sport talents really like trying to take these. The 50-50 split to potentially reduce your sport down to, like, not being effective at all, a lot of people find it worthwhile. Well, yeah, avoid being drafted. So, yeah, I can see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's the other one? Where'd I put it? And we have here in the branch corals, exceeding really rare. I only have one piece. The rainbow branch coral permanently increases sport talents potencies. All right. I'll take that for the lobster. Oh. Unfortunately, like I said, this is rare, rare. And this is rare. This is the best lobster. It is the best lobster. I've had 17 through my life. Sold 24. This is the only piece that I've ever come in contact with. All right, so if I traded you the lobster and that white fire coral, how are we looking? Oh, we're still looking maybe 10,000 gold pieces off. Okay, okay. This is right up there with the tomes that permanently increase statuses. Mm. Because I already gave him the black fan. I gave him the soft orange. The soft orange. Um, trying to give him the white fire. All right. Um, orange fan coral on top of it. How are we looking? Brings us five thousand gold pieces off. One more piece of coral. I know, but like I'm I'm get, I'm running out of corals that I want to give to this dude. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. Hmm. How badly do you want this purple symbiote? No. You don't. Fine. 
What if I gave you this uh, purple symbiote? Ooh, I like those. Those are pretty rare. I do enjoy those. Rarer than most of the other corals, except for these, of course. So, I can give you the this symbiote, the lobster, and that white fire coral. You drive a hard bargain. But, I owe you a bit of a discount, I suppose. Deal. Pleasure. I'll fucking, I'll take it, and I'll, uh, shake his little hand. Any other wheeling and dealing you wish to do? I would love to trade for that piece of rainbow horn coral that you just acquired there. <laughs> sure you would. However, we still got a few more days around here. I'm sure you'll see me. Oh, well, maybe. All right. Who knows what I'm going to be doing? Well, hey, maybe, uh, maybe we could strike another deal. I'll oh, be wheeling, dealing's my wheeling and dealing. I'll be searching the same way I did. You can have your little... I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> he shuttles off. Dope. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to hang out at the docks, because, uh... Eventually, the last boat comes, and they kick you off. You gone. Okay. D dope. I'll tell them that <laughs> I lost my friend. No, because if you pop up, they're probably like there'll be a lot more questions than if I just say I lost my friend who looks just like this to the surf, and or I pop up somewhere else entirely on the island and everything. This is fine. this is their island. You think that? You... All right, I'll 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 run with your plan. I won't say anything. I'll just I'll mosey on. You go back to the island. You go to bed. Yeah. You don't know how much time passes. You're getting a little tired, but you're cozy. Okay. Life's not bad. Okay. Eventually, there's light ahead. Light. light. Yeah. Move towards the light. At about no point have you ever gone in. upwards. Just down. Just down. You're and about there's to... a light. And there's a light. Dope. You're about I move to, to the light. You're about to meet Poseidon. You move to the light. Uh, you go through and cling to the surface of this very large open area. The water is boiling. Oh. But you feel great. You don't feel the heat at all. Okay. And below you is lava. I literally, in my head, was joking when it was like, oh, you can adapt to any environment. I was like, oh, time to go jump into a volcano. <laughs> there is, the current is flowing from a big tunnel just to your side, and there's light coming from there as well. But the water coming from it is cold. Interesting. A whole lot colder than where you are, at least. Mm. Is there anything else, like, in this open area? Um, down by the lava, there are some tube worms. I don't want to touch the tube worms. I'm going to okay. <laughs> if you don't want to touch the tube worms, you don't want to touch the tube worms. I don't think the tube worms want me to touch them. Well, no animal wants you to touch them. <laughs> continue forth. You continue forth. You pop out, and you see surface. It is choppy and, uh, and being churned rather harshly. There's a strong current, but down as low as you are, it's not terrible. And as you gaze out, nothing but beautiful, vibrant coral reefs. And there is something miles away really stirring up the water. About seven miles away. Do you want a perception? Yeah. Okay. As you kind of starfish your way along these walls and are looking about. Yeah, I want to try to see what the thing is stirring up the water. That's yeah. What perception is focused on. Oh, that's a good perception roll. A solid... Uh, 
How to? Yeah, do you go to the surface? It'd be easier to see by peeking out from these choppy waves. Sure. Yeah, you surf you hold your breath for a little bit, surface not long enough to start transforming back and proc any kind of negative effect from your symbiote. Right. There is a humongous water spout. Big water tornado right in the middle of this gigantic cavern you find yourself in. Lava suspended in the air, glowing, lighting this entire reef. Inside the earth. Weird. Welcome to the deep reefs. You are not supposed to be here. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Just start gathering all of the coral. Deadass. So I really like the color of the oily rainbow branch ones because it was rainbow. So I'm looking for those in particular. I really, like, I'm just kind of grabbing things. Yeah, the, the rainbow is not a color that you're going to find frequently. But this whole place is coated in these corals. Okay. And uh, as you make your way back into the water, do you decouple from the wall? Yeah. Your fingers web together, and you feel your feet almost fuse with each other. I'm a goddamn mermaid. You're a goddamn mermaid. I'm a goddamn mermaid. Let's fucking do this. And uh, you can effortlessly swim through this water as you have already adapted to an aquatic environment. Okay. How effortlessly? 60 foot effortless. Okay. Yeah. Even with a strong current, no worries for you. Perfect. I need a perception roll, though. Nat 20? It was a nat 20. Okay, good. 37 total. Good. There are things here swimming around. A lot of things. Things. Some very large, some very small, and they are all made out of that crystalline material. The Shit. largest of which look a whole of a lot like a kraken as you make your way through. Most of the small animals steer well away from you as you get close, you think it's probably a good idea to steer clear of some of these bigger, yeah, more monstrous... Yeah, that's definitely what I was thinking. I don't want to go any... Level near, 25 things. Yeah, yeah, near the big boys. Yeah. Like, even the boys the size of me, I don't really go With your nat 20 perception as well, you do see the Kraken covers four crystalline eggs in a bed of oily, sheening rainbow coral. Does, so you said that you're, she's not finding them frequently. Is that like the only place that she's seeing them? There is. You. How long do you swim around? Do you I mean, I've find got somewhere? Night. Do you find somewhere? Take a nap. That probably would be a good idea. Kind or do you stay up and fatigue yourself all the way through the night to hopefully crawl back up and be there during the correct time the next day? Because your perception of time is going to get a little warped. Yeah. If you don't keep on your rhythm. I'm scared to sleep. I don't know how long this symbiote's going to do its thing. Um, uh, does chat have any symbiotes? <laughs> <laughs> um, what does chat want right now? Do they want me to fatigue myself? So That's eight more hours of searching. Oh, and then what's the negative to fatigue again? Uh, minus two to just about everything, plus some minor mental effects like your perception of time slowly slipping. Yeah, fuck it. Let's fatigue myself. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, and uh, after fatigue hits, which will be about the time you're trying to surface, you can only take one action per round. Okay. Basically. However, I because I'll be searching and you'll I'll be getting too exhausted. Yeah. As soon point. as I get to you, you can lay on hands me. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Probably because this is going to be more than 24 hours that you're staying up. You will be exhausted by the time you surface if you stay awake. So you'll have to lay on hands twice. No. No. No, you can't fix it. The lay on exhaustion. hands will not fix it. You will just come up and you will just have to. Sleep. So you okay. can take, like, you could take, like, a quick power nap. Like a short rest. It might help a little bit. Or it might not. 
a short rest would theoretically just make it so I'm fatigued when I get back to him, right? Theoretically. It would give you a fortitude save. Yeah, I'm gonna like sneak back over to the rocks kind of mm. and like try to like try to wedge you re myself. Restarfish starfish and tuck yourself yeah. in somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I don't wanna be out in the open just floating around sleeping with krakens. Like that's You do not. That is correct. Yeah, I'll I'll take a little rest. The smaller animals stay away from you. Okay. You rest for a short while. You will get a fortitude save. Okay. You got a lot of time to do a lot of searching. Yes. And there's a lot of stuff here. Yes. Um, one of the most popular species that you're seeing are these humanoid-like crab folk. Can I talk to them in Sylvan? Do you approach? Yeah, like not super close, but like close enough where they should be able to hear me. But you're, yeah. I mean, water's weird. Adele doesn't know what how far sound would travel yeah, underwater. Yeah, you have no idea. But I'll get close-ish. never close -ish, spoken water before. And I just call, hey, Sylvan, hey. They kind of like look at you and, hey. What are you? I'm a person. Oh, you have one of the symbiotes. Yeah, yeah, the white one. I recognize. Hmm. What? What's this place? It's pretty cool down here. Lots of lots of pretty colors. And you, what species are you natively? Um, human. Huh. This isn't a safe place for you. I gathered that. Well, we don't have any problem with you here, I suppose. Don't stir the pot. Don't upset Karen. Who's Karen? And they all just, like, look towards the giant kraken over in this huge pothole of the deep reefs, protecting her eggs over the bed of oily rainbow coral that you want. Is there any way to get that coral over there without upsetting Karen? Well, once every couple of months she goes out and feeds amongst the reefs and sometimes even surfaces through the spout. Um, we've collected some coral then, but she's laid eggs this year. It'll probably be two, three before she moves. Mm -hmm. If she moves again. And it, it, she just attacks if you approach? Oh. She would welcome the meal, I'm sure. Um, does she eat you guys? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. All the time. I didn't know. Just Jerry last week. Poor guy never stood a chance. Spit his claw out so hard that it went up through the great hole. Yeah, so, ask, ask him where, where if there's any other place where those corals are. Are there, do you, is there like any other chunks of it just kind of that have been floating around? It's a around? protected species around here. Um, if it pops up anywhere else, usually we try our best to tend it. Oh, okay. Do you guys have any, anywhere else that like maybe I could have? Have like you wish to remove it from the reefs? Yeah, is that not okay? Is no, that... that's uh, that's not something we do here. We tend the corals because the corals bring the other life that we eat. Mm. Plus, gotcha. of course, all of their wondrous magical properties. There's just a little tiny piece. That wouldn't affect anything. Mm, well, you'd say that, but especially with these rainbow ones, they don't grow in big swaths like they do under Karen. Hmm. Okay, well, have you guys seen anything odd? You know, like... Little yes. Little coins, or I've seen a woman uh, with a symbiote making her into a mermaid. Just today, and they kind of like look at each other, like, "Yeah, yeah, I did see that." Very helpful. Have you seen any like weird coins with little emblems on them, or like any <clears throat> random objects? Oh, you see gold. Be... More like god tokens. Ah, trinkets from ships? Yeah, things like that. You should check the shipwreck section. Um, usually the spout, when it eats up human vessels, uh, deposits them just over on that far side. But be careful. The uh, crystal sharks really enjoy that section. Crystal sharks. Yeah, that's going to be a hard no cheese. As well as uh, some of the other cephalopods. Not nearly as big as Karen, of course. She's the only one now. Until their eggs hatch, and then we'll have four. 
But three of them will probably go off and try to find their place somewhere else okay. in the great ocean. Okay. Surface side. Cool, cool. But yeah, no, super dangerous place to go. But tons of gold, lots of coins. I know not of these gods you speak, but if they shipwrecked here, their wealth is around. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to head over kind of towards the ship area. Cool. You're fucking wild. Hey, did you, do you go into hot places? Yeah, I can kind of go into hot places a little bit. Did you see any of those tube worms? Yeah. Oh, those things are delicious. Oh. Would you guys be willing to trade coral for tube worms? We could let you harvest some coral for some tube worms on the down low. Perfect. Fuck the ships, I go back for the tube worms. Yeah, you go back. There's five of them. Can I just grab them? Is this going to be like they're, a... They're, they're not... They make this kind of calcium tube yeah. that they live in, but it's not too hard to break out. Okay. I was just worried that this was some sort of DM trap where you were like, and the two worms eat you. Ha. Nope. Kind of a thing. Okay, cool. They're filter feeders. They're Perfect. harmless. Yeah, I grab five two worms. Yeah. I bring them back to the dudes. Give them all to them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they can have the two worms. They'll let you, they'll let you harvest coral for an afternoon. Dope. Or a time period. A period of time. Sure. You've noticed over the time you've been here. Nothing changes. The light does not change. Gotcha. Gotcha. I was just guessing as much. Yeah, so I just start, like, picking up corals that I haven't seen. Cool. Or things like that. Um, more green horn coral. We don't need any more of that. I'm specific. How old are you trying to make people? <laughs> well, no, we have a lot of children, you see. <laughs> um, I want to try to, like, I guess I'll ask them, how close to Karen can you get before she... Just about arm's reach right now. How, how long is that? Oh, and they just kind of like eyeball it and point. It's not very close to the rainbow stuff. Gotcha. Well, you can still try to find other rainbow stuff. Like you said, like it just doesn't grow like super frequently. It's not that like it's just not there anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll spend a little bit of time. Um, we can make the rolls after if you want, but just like grabbing like coral that's kind of nearish me. Yeah. And then I do want to head over to the ships. Sure. You can also ask the crab people like where there's the rainbow coral that's I not did, and they kind of were They don't seem to want to tell you. Yeah. They they Even weren't. after the bribery of delicious tube worms. Yeah, Fair. they're barely letting me get their other stuff. Like Fair. that's special. Yeah, and this little group of, like, you know, two, three of them wants to stick with you. And kind of, like, if they see another one, they kind of steer you away. Mm -hmm. It's like, this is our two-worm lady. You need to fuck off. Okay. This is our two-worm lady. Are they going to come with me to the ship area? They'll come with you near. Okay. Uh, just about as near as the rest of the crab folk go. Okay. But they don't have, don't have seemingly any interest in going in. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Make my way towards the ships. I want to be like very vigilant about anything. Perception. Okay. New perception. Well, it's not at twenty, I'd assume. No, it's not. I'm trying to decide if it's cocked or if I take. I, I'm taking the five, I guess. It's a twenty-two. It's kind of cocked. It was like. The dice sits at an angle, but it was sitting flat. It was. Twenty-two. Mm -hmm. There are gigantic rays going across the ground as it goes from coral to much sandier mm -hmm. environment. And you start to see the beginnings of these shipwrecks. And it is infested with these large crystalline fish, very shark-like in shape, swimming their way haphazardly around. Every now and then you see a school of fish kind of brave over top trying to collect some little surface food and stuff and the sharks go at them and just ravage. Um, but there's I tons of glinting. want to approach another sea life that's close to me that's not a shark. Yeah, there's uh, there's like the, the stingrays on the ground. Yeah, I go up and try to pet a stingray. It swims away from you. Perfect. I think I'm the only person who this might actually work for. I'm going towards the ships. You might, yeah. You start swimming towards and immediately 
a couple of the sharks start making their way towards you. They pick up speed. Do they? Yeah. I'm over here, sharky, sharky, sharky. Like, super excited. Hamming it up. Yeah. Give a handle animal check. Dope. Please fail me now. God damn it. <laughs> handle animal check with my whopping plus zero. That's a 19. Yeah, they start coming and then they just swerve. And they part away from you and seem to go elsewhere. Dope. I go towards the glinting. Yeah, you make your way towards the glinting. Uh, you don't feel like your talent's going to save you from some of the bigger sharks. Okay. You can get some of this kind of outer ring stuff. Perfect. There are chests sitting around. There's little piles here, there. You see just a little bit through the ground. There's coins. I start gathering up my sacky full of gold. Yeah. Yeah, you fill up a sack with gold, you fill up a sack with I got a backpack. Yeah, got a backpack. Filled with you coral. Got some coral. Gold. Yeah. Um, is there anything in particular that looks cool that's not just gold? Like There's like some weapons. Some weapons hanging around. There's some swords and some knives. So is there like a golden quarter staff? No. <laughs> Damn, I wanted a new walking That's stick. Rather specific. No, unfortunately, there's not a golden quarter staff. Well, it was worth a try. There is a, there's like a scepter. Scepter. It's got a big blue gem in it. Yeah, I fucking take that. It's got like uh, like sphinx wings, you know, like yeah. Egyptian style kind of scepter going. Hell yeah, I take that. Yeah. It's got a big blue gem on it. <laughs> you snatch that up. Um, there's like, you know, little rings and necklaces and shit. Just amongst the gold coins. Yeah, I'll just take rings, necklaces, things like yeah, that. You cannot put rings on right now. I can't, but yeah. I, that's not the plan. They're to go to the kids. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they, they get souvenirs too. So, yeah. Um, after I gather my fill of gold, pretty, pretty stonky at this point. Yeah, getting heavy. Um, I guess I'll start swimming back. And when I get to the crab dudes, I'll be like, hey, is there a... Anything else like of note around here that you kind of that you guys are like, wow, that's different, other uh, than me? Well, underneath the great spout in the middle is uh, where some of the others hang out. Some of the others? Yeah, you know, more humanoid-like people, but you probably don't want to talk to them. Oh, why not? They tend to be aggressive towards outsiders. Oh, yeah, probably not then. Especially since we've let you take some of the coral, they probably wouldn't like that at all, actually. They get really upset when people do that. Okay. Um, well, it was really nice meeting you guys. There's that one kid. There's a kid. Yeah. Okay. Short. Kind of cuts blue hair. Human. Wears a cloak. She hangs around here a lot. Don't do it. I know who that is. Don't do it. Oh, yeah, I think. Hmm. Don't, don't do it. No, I have enough children already. I don't need any more to take care of. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll just like gather a few more pieces of coral and I'm gonna head out. Oh well, you're not gonna go into one of the other tubes and get more worms. I mean, I only need just five. Yeah, but that's not quite two apiece. Tell you what, you guys can get me one more piece of the rainbow branch coral. I will go get you more tube worms. And then I won't take any other coral, just the one more piece of that. Softer horn. The branch. Is it a rainbow branch? Oh yeah, it's not a horn, it's a branch. Fine. Okay, yeah, I'll go get some more tube worms. Yeah, one of them scuttles off towards the center. You go into another tunnel? Yeah. Sure, there's some more tube worms there. Yep, I grab they're, them. They're relatively easy to collect. Yeah, I grab them yeah. and bring them back. Yeah, they give you one and it's a little piece. That's fine. Like, a little chunk of that rainbow branch coral. All right, and then I, yeah, I'm gonna start moseying my way. Oh, is there another, do I have to go back? 
that way? Like, do you guys know much about the tube systems or like? Some of us, there's some tubes that we can get through. Um, there's a bunch of really nasty people that drained out a couple of tubes. If you go over to that side there, and uh, you see those three big ones just kind of towards the surface that are gushing water into them. If you go into those and then pass the lava, um, those ones go up somewhere with people. Just go back the way you came because you're going to end up resurfacing inside those dudes' bases. Like inside the base underneath the island. Yeah, well, if I surface right now, I have no idea if you guys are at the other spot and I surface into a fucking Poseidon's mill. A horrid torrent. So other way sounds pretty great. Also, I can sneak out with all this cool uh, shit I got. However, you, you also know... So you know the way back, like the way you got in. So like you could theoretically just go to that spot and then just hang out because, like, I'm going to come straight back to that spot when I come back tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm still going to If it's still there. Yeah, because the water will change the things. The beach changes. As well as, like, even if you come to that spot, I still have to walk out the gate with all of my fun findings, and then they confiscate my fun findings. They might. No, I'm going to go a different way. I'm going to go a different Oh, you're not interested in, like deep lores of the earth or whatever are you you just want to collect things because you're hungry like us um i mean unless what what do you know oh well there's there's a species around here they're not made out of crystal like the rest of us we call them the tongue takers um they're they're like a parasite but they live very long times and they know things but they take your tongue uh they eat the host tongue yeah no, I'm good. I don't. I don't want to. I. I like my tongue. Ah. It tastes booze. Booze. Is it as good as tube worm? As one of them just like takes a crunch. I reach into my pocket and grab one of my multiple flasks that I hand in my flask. You just like pinch it in their claw, and they just like little feelers on it, and like. And then I like reach. Is out it glass? And I like screw unscrew it. I'm like, put your mouth over. Boom. Yeah. Suck it. <laughs> yeah, they make a whole bunch of bubbles and fuss about that. Oh, well, that's my favorite food. You they didn't like it? it? No, oh, they like it. You yeah. liked it? Oh, good. Yeah, they pass it around a little bit. And Perfect. Wave it in the water and then, like, feel it. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that was all for me, guys. Um, I'm going to head out. You said, it, do you know of any of the places that don't lead to people that kind of, like, lead to just, like, empty surface area? Uh, well, tons of these lead to the ocean. Um, I don't know if you'd fit through a bunch of them. Hmm. A lot of them lead to springs, apparently. Springs. But a lot of those go through very, very... A lot of those just go through sand and stuff. And people, and you know, we wouldn't be able to fit through those. Hmm. Is there one that goes to the ocean that I could fit through? Oh, tons. That's not going to be the swirling whirlpool of death. The top of the spout? Yeah. Probably not. Most of them are going to lead to that? Uh, yeah, I think all of them do. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, any of these tunnels don't lead to that that I could fit to? Uh, those three big ones there, the those go ones? to a place with people that have dried out. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take one of those. Oh, okay. I guess. You do as you desire. Is that a bad idea? No, okay. I don't know. Okay. I've never been. I just was told not to go that way. By who? Uh, by the tongue takers. They kind of run things down here. Besides that one kid and Karen, they run themselves. Did they say why? Uh, because people use spears and collect our flesh for magic items. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's crazy. Like, honestly, nobody believes that you guys even exist. Like... We just find random oh, crystals. Oh, we think we exist. I think you do too. Pretty positive. A lot of people know we exist. Um, question. So, how far is Ganesh Island from the Coors Beach? It's a good couple hour boat ride. Okay. Because I was thinking if you... you got to navigate around a lot of other islands, and then you got to go around the entirety of Charlie Mops Island, where they grow all the hops for the beer. 
So you could get out and then just swim, like surface around where you first went in. And you could just swim around to where you get to the dock side and then swim towards Ganesh Island, get to another one of those other islands, and then I can use Adara to find you. Can you? Well, the thing is, I still, to do that, would have to go through the top part of the water where it's going to kill me. have to go me, through Poseidon's Mill. Which isn't going to work. That's why I need to go through the other ones. And I'm going through the other ones. Okay. On my way. All right. Moving along. You move along. You head up that way. Eventually, you reach surface as you kind of scuttle and starfish Stealthily out. Stealthily reach surface? Yeah. Water is very warm, but like you feel on perfect. 19 on stealth. Okay. Yes. And uh, as you slowly peek up, there is yellow tape around the pool that you are in. Caution tape. Okay. Perception. And you are in a cavern. A cavern. With humongous crystals growing all which way. Okay. Um, with my perception check of 20, actually... The two would be gone by this point because owls doesn't last that long. So, what time of day is it right now? I'm in a cavern, so I wouldn't be able to tell. I know, but um, I'm asking you. You wake up the next morning. Okay, I'm immediately gonna ask Adar where the fuck is Zelly. She's underwater. Where underwater? Um. It's bright. Is she at that island where we were at last? I don't know what island you were at last. The island where you showed me the dog-shaped rock. Oh, that rock's long gone. It, it is, it is. But that island that it was attached to, is mm. she there? It doesn't look like that island. It doesn't look like an island at all. Would you be able to direct me to where she's at? I don't... Maybe. We'd need a boat. We we would need a boat. That that's not that's not a problem. Okay. It's out in that big whirlpool thing though. Like fuck. How deep into it? Um couple miles. You're kind of on your own, Chief. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm in a cavern. Um, now you're in a cavern. Perfect. So You are surfacing you've broken water okay your eyes this film recedes from them so you can now see out of the water again 27 on my perception are there any other people or sounds of people around me there is a blinding flash of light as your face surfaces and as you adjust and as you begin to breathe air again you hear mommy what's that as you find yourself right next to a little walkway with a bunch of little pools and there is a small group of tourists with some little mage lights and the tour guide is just like gape jawed staring at you. Well, they're all in shock. I'm just going to hop my way on out of there. He's my... like, ma'am, please no swimming in the pools. In is the, my tail gone cave. and everything? Yeah, every, yeah, you come out and since you haven't made an adjustment yet today, it's almost instant. Oh, uh, I'm I'm sorry. I kind of tripped and fell in. I. Okay, I don't really believe you, but I can't do anything about it. So, like, don't do that again, or I'll call security and have you kicked out of the resort. Oh yeah, Dad, I'm I'm so sorry. Won't happen again. Okay. Let's continue on the tour, folks. Yeah, let's continue on the tour. Please no touching the crystals or swimming in the pools. Once again, you can swim in the hot springs all you want outside of the crystal cavern, but these are not yet cleared, safe for, uh, for human bathing. And this dude takes you on this little tour through these caves, and you surface. You are on Resort Island. Yes! Oh, fucking God. Told you. Told you to trust the random tubes. There you are did. Beautiful hotels and tiki bars everywhere Excellent. people walk beautiful people walking around in bikinis taking instagram selfies all that bullshit dope uh, you're out i'm out <laughs> please come home 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to... And exclusively due to your sport talent, you didn't get murdered on the way in. Or out. I'm the only one who would have done that. You were the only one who could have done that. I could do it again. With, with your so happened to be mix matching with the white symbiote as well right now. Yeah. That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? No. No. No, not till much later level. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna... Oh, but my drinks don't work right now. She wouldn't. She would still try. I'm gonna stop at a bar. Yeah. And order something in a fruit. Oh, God, yeah. Perfect. Um, I They've don't... got all kinds of crazy fruits. This bar has a challenge. Those boat fruit that they grow to make the, the lifeboats, the longboats for ships. Yeah. They have one of those filled with like an ice cream booze slush that you can order. And there is a challenge that if you can put it away without dying of alcohol poisoning and within two hours, it's free. I do the challenge. Jesus Christ, you could have come back for that. <laughs> the only thing I need is a fortitude save to physically put that much liquid and dairy into your system at once. Is it Zelly lactose intolerant? It hasn't come up, so I would assume no. Um. So you're good. Dope. It's. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. You complete the challenge. Fuck yes. A crowd has gathered. People are slack-jawed. And in two hours you finish, they give a 30-minute grace period to see if you start vomiting and dying. And then there's another bright flash. And someone's wiggling something in the air. And sure enough, your likeness shows up on this piece of paper with the booze canoe emptied and this big stupid grin on your face and they pin it to the wall there's a little plaque that says winners you were the only photo i'm amazing yeah and i'm gonna strut on back to the docks and go you're to allowed up Island. to four friends for that challenge <laughs> <laughs> Who needs friends? Yeah, you struggle. You feel no effects of the alcohol. Fuck yeah. You take some mad whizzes, but that's, that's about fine. it. That's fine. Yeah, I go back to Kanesh Island, and then I want to find yeah. out how much shit I actually achieved. It is just about time for you to get going. And you... Zelly walks onto the island as you're, like, getting ready to go onto a boat. Oh, thank God. I thought you died. What the fuck happened? Oh, well, let's go over here where it's you know quiet place and i look around make sure nobody's watching let's just let let one let's, of the kobolds is hanging out at the dock let, let's let, let's just go back to the okay wherever the fuck we're sleeping right now yeah. let's go so i go she has a little crown now of these white tendrils coming up out of her head like a crown almost i'm a goddamn queen we'll we'll talk about that later yeah let's <laughs> go to my room yeah. And I grab my backpack and I just dump it on the bed. What the Let's see. fuck? I How do we want thing. to decide? Your seventh level. D6s are a good die. Do you want to roll 7d6 for the number of uh, items we're going to roll on here? Sure. Since here, you were here. collecting at random, I'll just have you roll at random. Use use my my new special dice. Oh, the special leaf. Do you have a um, five? I, I for I have three right here, and, and then I just we're have... going to handle this off stream. We'll see you guys next week. Sorry, folks, we were meant to get through the whole week. It was supposed <laughs> to be a whole week. We got to day three. That's fine. I don't think we'll be going. Three more days remain before Jimmy is. Cleared to walk again. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah, I mean, fuck. And we will see you guys next week on Mad King. Hopefully with a full cast. Uh, Should be. Should be. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.
you're still here, video's over. But uh, while I got you, like and subscribe. Consider following us over on Twitch.